So, uh, somebody was asking if I could do a tutorial of the instrumental ukulele version of Other Side by the Red Hot Chili Peppers that I did. Um, I'm not going to go through the structure of the song, you can get that from the video itself or from the Red Hot Chili Peppers video. Uh, should be hopefully roughly similar. Um, but what we will do is go through all the chords, um, how the melody works uh, for each of the different sections that we use in the song. Now, the reason the song works so well is that um, you get lots of nice open chords <clears throat> um, playing it along in the original key so you can play this version along to the record if you like um, and also the melody line apart from one note is usually on the top string so you don't have to worry about picking the melody out um, too much it will always come through because it's the highest note by and large um, that you're playing so you can strum away with abandon um, <clears throat> so uh, the song starts off uh, actually uh, with a chorus uh, and the chords in the chorus, there's just four chords in the chorus. Uh, there's A minor, so usually open A minor, just playing the second fret on the G string. Then there's uh, F, so the same chord, but we're also now fretting the uh, E string on the first fret. And then we play uh, a C, so we take those off and we play uh, the third fret on the A string and then the final chord is the G so we fret second uh, fret on the C and A string and the third fret on the E string okay and it just rolls around those chords um, by and large for the uh, chorus and then we just use the top string to put the uh, melody line itself in. <clears throat> so, from the beginning, you want to have your little finger up on the seventh fret. And we're mainly going to follow if you've got um, dots or inlays on your uke. We're mainly following that pattern down. So, and down to the fifth. Swap chords over to the F. <clears throat> And then back up to the 7th fret in your G shape. And then completely open A. And then the 2nd fret on the A string. Hold that down. And then swap over to your F. And then the next one you want. This is where the melody drops off the top string onto the E string. And we're just going to play the C and the E strings open. So I use my fingers here to mute the outer strings. We don't want to hear them. The G would fit in with the chord, but it'd be higher than the E, so it would uh, make it harder to follow the melody. And then two back to the G. That run down again. Then your A minor, but this time you've got your um, third fret down on the A string. And keep it down and go to the F. <clears throat> and then keep it down, go to the C. And then run down from the G again. Okay, so that's all you do uh, for a chorus. Okay, now the um, verse only has three chords in. Most of it is uh, bouncing from A minor to E minor. So the uh, version of A minor that we're using is the one where we've got the second fret down on the G string. And we've got the third fret down on the A string. Because that's the note of the melody. And then we swap over to E minor. <clears throat> which is open G string, 4th fret on the C string, 3rd fret on the E string, and 2nd fret on the A string. So all in a line. So going from... I'm going to do the same progression again. But before we swap over, we play the 5th fret on the A string. Okay, and you can move these fingers into position as you put that one down. 
Then again, we do the same as we did the first time. And then we go to open G. And then down to the A minor there. Um, and then that'll go through twice. <clears throat> do that through twice, and then we go uh, back into the chorus. The other part that we have in here is a bit of a middle bridge um, that then goes into a very, very short uh, guitar solo. This is the bit that's probably furthest away from the record. Um, there's probably a lot going on and there's no melody as such. It's kind of instrumental. So I'm probably a bit more jamming onto it than getting too close to what's actually going on in the record. <clears throat> but all it's doing really is um, going from an E minor pattern to um, a C pattern. So I was playing the version of E minor here for the first couple of bars. <clears throat> so I'm pulling a barrier actually across here on the second fret for the C, E and A strings. And then fretting the E string on the third fret and the C string on the fourth fret. So that's your extra E minor chord. And then I'm just kind of pulling those two off. Simple as that. And then when it goes to C, I'm getting that just by <clears throat> flattening this finger down. So where it was fretting just the E string, it's now fretting the E and A and doing a similar kind of thing. <clears throat> so do that a couple of times. And then we bring that up, same chords, but playing them in a different place. And Sneaky just comes in with some high vocals here. Okay, so to explain what we're doing here, that's your E minor chord. <clears throat> and we're going to be swapping between that E minor chord, which is just a barrier on the C, E and A strings. Again, we're leaving the G string open. And we'll be swapping between that and the C, and we get to the C just by <clears throat> fretting one finger up on the E string. Okay, and then we're playing around with the uh, notes on the 10th fret for the E and the A string, so. Then after that bit in the song, um, it goes through into some chorus pattern chords. But uh, Frishanti's doing a very simple um, stylic solo. So it goes back to your open A, and he's only playing one note at a time really in his uh, solo. So that's the open A at first. Then he goes to the F, which is next in the chorus. <clears throat> but we need to, he's playing um, the note he plays in the solo is an E, which pulls it to a major seventh chord. So you need to play your F down here, your second fret on the G string and the first fret on the E string, and then stretch your little finger all the way up here to the seventh fret on the A string. Bit of a stretch, but then my hands aren't very big. You can always get a smaller ukulele if you can't do it there. And then back up to the open chord there. So you played the. Okay, we're going to play C. He goes even higher on his solo, but it's a lot easier than the F chord because we don't. We can actually leave these these things open. Just worry about what he's doing, which is bouncing down from the tenth fret to the seventh. So. Doing that, <clears throat> and then he does the same thing, um, but burying across the second, uh, the C, the E, and the A strings on the seventh fret there. So put that together, and it should sound like. And then he just goes through and does, um, and then it's just a chorus or a couple of choruses uh, through to the end. Um, and that's it, that's all that there is to it. Um, there's a couple of things that you might want to put in to elaborate it that, that occurred to me after I actually recorded the version of it. So the first one of those is 
um, <clears throat> when you come into the chorus, you might want to move where you play the A minor because you've been playing lots of A minor in the verse, or certainly at the end of the verse. If you play a different inversion of the A minor there, then it sounds like the song is still moving and you've gone somewhere else rather than it just being coming in with the chorus. So you can move it up to the A minor that's positioned um, around the fourth and fifth frets with the um, fifth fret on the G string, fourth fret on the C string, fifth fret on the E string, and then play your melody on the seventh note there. You've then got to slide down to hit your F though, but that's something nice that you can do <clears throat> just to mix it up a bit. The other thing that's quite nice you can do at the beginning, and maybe only do this in the chorus, is uh, Frashanti actually sings some nice harmonies. And you can just put one of those notes in um, at the beginning of the chorus, whereas the melody goes... Where that note's being played, Frashanti's singing a note up here, so... on the 10th fret. And that's just another nice thing uh, to put in as well. I hope that's uh, useful. If you've got any questions um, about that, put them in the comments. Um, if you'd like to see anything else on the UGOR or tutorials or anything else, then um, put them in the comments too. Okay, thanks for watching.